your child up to success this year at one of more than 500 franchise locations. Visit Mathnasium.com or call 844-234-1600 for a free pairing pack. That's 844-234-1600. You're listening to Sirius XM. This is Sirius XM Satellite Radio. Osama bin Laden's one-time personal secretary, Al-Qaeda's number two man, has just been killed by an American drone strike. Leader of one of the most dangerous branches of the jihadist network, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, or AQAP. Uh, this man's primary task, plotting attacks against the West for years. Joining me now, Paul Cruikshank, CNN terrorism analyst and co-author of Agent Storm, My Life Inside Al-Qaeda. And Lieutenant General Mark Kirtling, CNN military analyst and retired Army former commanding general, Europe and 7th Army. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to both of you. Paul Cruikshank, um, first up here, you know, is this the biggest blow to Al-Qaeda since Bin Laden's death? Brooke, I don't think there's any doubt about that. This is a very major uh, blow uh, against the broader Al-Qaeda network. Nasir al wahashi was the number two of Al-Qaeda globally. Many within the global jihadi movement thought he was going to be uh, the long-term successor of Osama bin Laden. He was very close to bin Laden uh, before 9-11. Uh, this was somebody with a great deal of charisma, a bin Laden type of charisma, who was beloved of his uh, fighters. And he was... Out